Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Microsoft just released Trellis 2, an impressive image to 3D generation model that's going to make a huge impact on how we create 3D assets in Comfy UI. At its core, this model is designed to take a single image or even a text prompt and turn it into a high-quality, production-ready 3D object. The reason this version is such a big deal is how it handles 3D geometry. While older methods often struggle with complex shapes or hollowed-out parts, Trellis 2 uses a much smarter framework that can capture fine details and intricate surfaces that would usually break other systems. It also handles the textures brilliantly right from the start. Instead of just giving you a basic model, it generates all the realistic surface details, like how shiny, metallic, or even see-through an object should be, so you can drop these assets directly into a game engine or a VR project and they'll look professional immediately. One of the best parts about this release is that Microsoft put it out under the MIT license, which means you have the freedom to use it for your own personal projects or even commercial work with very few restrictions. Now, while it is technically a 4 billion parameter model, it is quite demanding on your hardware. You are going to need at least 16 gigabytes of VRAM to get it moving, though 24 gigabytes is definitely preferred for a smooth experience. During my own testing, I have actually run into out-of-memory errors even while using an RTX 4090, but I am going to show you exactly how to navigate those hurdles during this tutorial so you can keep things running smoothly. If your local computer isn't quite up to the task, I have put together a RunPod template that handles the entire installation and setup on a cloud GPU for you. You can rent a variety of powerful GPUs by the hour, and you can often get anywhere from $5 to $500 in free credits just by adding $10 to your account. For my Patreon members, I have also created a one-click Windows installer that takes care of everything automatically. It will install ComfyUI and Flash Attention while downloading all the necessary models into their respective folders, so you can get up and running locally without any manual configuration. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. For those of you rolling up your sleeves to set this up manually, you'll first need ComfyUI and the ComfyUI Manager ready to go. The Manager is usually the easiest way to handle nodes. But for the Trellis 2 custom node specifically, I found that installing it directly through the Manager can be a bit finicky on the portable Windows version. If you are starting from scratch on Windows, grab the portable zip file from the official ComfyUI repo, Extract it with something like 7-zip and you're set. To get the Manager and the Trellis 2 node installed properly, navigate into your Custom Nodes folder within the ComfyUI directory. Click into the File Explorer path bar, type CMD and hit Enter. From there you'll just get cloned the repositories for both the Manager and the Pizzetti Andrea Trellis 2 node. Since the portable version uses its own isolated environment, you'll need to run two specific commands within the directory containing the Python embedded folder to make sure all the underlying parts for Trellis 2 are installed correctly. I've put all those commands and the links to the repositories in a written guide linked in the description so you can just copy and paste them. You might notice that Flash Attention doesn't always install perfectly on every machine. The workflow will still function without it, but it's going to be much more demanding on your hardware. If you want that extra efficiency, I've included a link to specific Flash Attention wheels you can download and install manually for your environment. Once that's squared away, fire up Comfy UI. I usually start by loading the geometry-only workflow provided in the project. 
You'll probably see some red nodes at first, which just means we are missing a few pieces. Head into the Comfy UI Manager. Click Install Missing Custom Nodes, and you should see the Geometry Pack listed. Click the Install button to get it installed locally. After that's installed, hit Restart and refresh your browser to clear out those errors. Because my local machine is running an RTX 4050 with only 6GB of VRAM, I'm going to jump over to my run pod setup to show you the rest of this on an RTX 5090. If you're using my run pod template, just select your GPU, ensure the proper template is selected in the pod template section and deploy it. The system handles the entire installation in the background in about 10 minutes and should be ready to go once the storage reaches about 14%. Once the green light pops up, you can launch the interface by clicking the connect button next to Comfy UI and get to work. Once the interface is finally up and running, you can load in one of the example workflows provided by the creator of the Trellis 2 node. This project just recently released, and since it is still very much a work in progress, the node is being updated and refined almost daily. Because of that rapid pace, things can shift quickly. If you ever hit a wall where a node isn't behaving or an error pops up that wasn't there yesterday, your very first stop should be heading straight back to the GitHub repository. Keeping that repo bookmarked and checking it regularly is the best way to make sure you're staying current and aren't wasting time trying to troubleshoot a version of the workflow that's already been improved or replaced. To get started, you'll need a clear image of the item you want to transform into a 3D object. The process works best if the background is removed, leaving only the object itself in the frame. For my Patreon members, I've included a background removal workflow in the installer to handle standard image files quickly. Otherwise, you can use a site like RemoveBG to get a clean cutout for free. You might notice that the example workflows actually include their own background removal node, but from what I've seen, it tends to export the background as a GLB mesh file. While that can be useful for certain things, it isn't really what we need for a clean PNG input, as you can see here on the screen. Once your image is loaded, you can simply click Run to begin. The workflow is going to automatically download all the necessary models in the background the first time you run it. This makes the initial start much longer than usual, so you'll want to make sure you have at least 30 gigabytes of storage space available on your drive. If you run into out-of-memory errors while the workflow is running, your best bet is to look at the guidance strength settings in the Trellis 2 image to shape node. These two parameters work a lot like the standard CFG settings you see in other AI workflow. The higher you set the value, the harder the model tries to match your original image. The downside is that higher values require more compute power and VRAM. If your hardware is struggling, lowering these can help you get through the generation, though it might slightly change the output quality. You should also disable the Remesh settings in the Trellis 2 Export GLB node as this also seems to remove the out-of-memory errors during my testing. Microsoft has really moved the needle with this release. In my opinion, the quality here is a significant step up from other major models like Hunyuan 3D or Tripo. The amount of detail captured in these new models is outstanding, and unlike anything I've seen for local 3D asset generation. This is definitely a tool you should explore if you're building assets for your own projects, as it's getting to the point where it could easily replace many of the tools people are currently using. To wrap things up, Trellis 2 is an incredibly powerful step forward for the open source 3D community, offering production-ready assets right from your own machine. While the hardware requirements are steep, the results speak for themselves. If you want to skip the complicated setup and get straight to creating, don't forget that the one-click installer is available on my Patreon page. It handles comfy UI, flash attention, and all the model downloads for you in one go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.